I got it. I got it. The market update. First quarter, 2024. Let's get right into it. How is the villages doing in 2024? First quarter's over. They put out the real estate market update. It does not include the MLS listing. It's not part of it. It's the villages properties, but it is also includes some resale pre-owned homes, but it also includes the new. What's happening? People are reporting real estate. Okay, I did, I did a chat GPT on myself. I am not a financial advisor or a real estate agent. So my opinion here, it's my opinion and only mine of what's happening. But I love to look at the numbers and help you out if you're looking at the villages. So let's get right into it, right down to the market report. I got the market report off. It's available on Talk of the Villages. Somebody posted the thumbnails of it. So if you'd like to see the market report and you don't get it, go to the thetalkofthevillages.com. Let's take a quick look at the numbers. I don't really look at areas. They're included in the report. I just look at totals. And so the totals here, pre-owned, you can see the numbers. Um, I also don't follow pending. I don't care about, I just want to know sales because I think sales gives you the real picture. It doesn't cloud it with sales that didn't go through. I think for the villages though, sales is good because they know if they're going up or not and it gives them that. So let's just look from the top down. Pre-owned, pending, 717. That's a lot pending going into the next quarter. They sold 580 homes. Average price, 460,000. Average days on the market is 48. We are going to compare these to other quarters and last year, just to, to let you know. But I do focus on new, the next category. Pending, 789, but closed, 721. Average price, 421. Average days on the market, 44. So they sold in the first quarter, 1,301 homes. Now here's the problem. Homes do not give you the whole picture because it could be a few in the enclave that are a million dollars. There could be a bunch of villas that may be 260,000. So average price can fluctuate a lot depending on what they sold, what, it, what they were building, whether they were all designer homes or not. You have no knowledge of what those are. Now in the details, they do go into a little bit about average prices and what they were pricing by series. And, and if you're getting into that detail, look at the whole report. So now let's go to my spreadsheet. So as you can see on this chart, my spreadsheet covers, you know, I started all the way back with the totals for 2021, I went to the totals of 2022, totals of 2023, and 2024, we've started. Now I did a couple of things that are interesting, but I think I just wanna summarize it simply. I don't wanna go crazy with this thing. And so the top category, this again, is pre-owned. And then the second category I'll point to is new. So let's just look at the first quarter compared to all of last year. Well, they sold 721 brand new homes. I'm not going to do pre-owned. I'm just going to skip pre-owned. Pre-owned, that's a really luck of the draw of what, who wants to sell, who wants to get out, and that kind of. But let's look at new. 721. That is only down from the fourth quarter of the year before, 28 homes, 28 homes. The average price in the fourth quarter of 2023 was $399,000. The average price is $421,000. 
the whole year you can see this number 420 was the average so can I say this I'm gonna I'm gonna say it it's just my opinion home prices are staying the same that's how I interpret it and only being off by 28 homes from the previous quarter is not as big a drop as if you listen to all these Florida real estate that say everything is going down the tubes. I do believe we're in somewhat of a recession. Cost of goods going to the grocery store have gone up. Interest rates are an all-time high for borrowing for a home. You have to realize we're starting into a recession or a pullback because of how our economy is going. And the, the way it was before just isn't happening. Now, one of the bigger things is you should compare this to the previous first quarter in 2023. And that's where you're going to see it's down 108 homes total, both categories, but 851 compared to 721. That's 130 homes down. Now, 130 out of 851, the Villages, I believe, has an advantage that because it is so desired by people who want to move here, the prices do not probably go down as much as they do in other areas compared to... Now, keep in mind, I'm talking sales. Brand new homes compared to brand new homes. It doesn't take into consideration these prices of the bond. The bond may have gone up and the bond may be keeping this total value of the house down. Like I know the homes in Citrus Grove were probably about 30,000, 35,000. On average was the bond. When you get down into some of the new areas that are in Lake County that are being sold, the bonds anywhere from 40 to 50 or 35 to 50. That's not reflected in this home sale price. This is just the home price, not the bond. I'm one who likes to add in the bond. I wish I knew those numbers. I wish I knew how much the average bond was for those uh, 721 homes, but I do not. So I'm going to take a good. I'm going to take a look at historic. If we go back to 2021, new homes, 4,004. New homes in 2022, 3749. 2023, we went to 3,103. And you can see the first quarter of those previous years was the village's biggest quarters of number of homes. They sold a thousand homes in 22. That's a lot of homes. So I did this little, if they sold the same amount of homes, 721 each quarter, they would end up with 2,884 homes sold. That would be down. Okay, there it is. I did the math. It's down 219 homes from the previous year. If they sell the same number every quarter, which we know is not going to happen. But for brand new homes, a couple hundred homes, who knows what the economy of the future. If you build it, they seem to be coming to the villages. I believe the villages has an advantage of these prices. The average price being 400000 if you look at it. It pretty much, prior to 2021, it was 371 for the whole year. Um, you only got one quarter that it was 399 and otherwise it's been in the 400s. And I think that's about right. That is uh, probably the median or the average of what people get. So, 219 out of... Let's just see what that reduction is. The reduction is a little 7%. 7%. Is that really bad news for the villages? I'd I think they would love to put it back over. If we go back to those numbers and they show how many are pending, 
they have an awful lot pending. But I'm looking at just the villages, not MLS, brand new homes. They build similar homes. They tweak them a little. And so there are comparables. The Lake Denham, Dabney Enclave is a unique area because it is it is separated from a lot of things. People know that when they move there, they're not near some of the other centers like Brownwood or Lake Sumter. They know they're not there. They do know that Eastport's coming, which is going to be closer for them than other areas. But it is on the end of, I'll call it the end of the southern tip above the turnpike. So I'm going to do a video that kind of gives you the map of the villages and what area I would look at. And if I was buying next year, the year after, where would I want to be? I think that would be an excellent video to tie in this what's the sales are. If you know they're still going to be building homes, selling 4,000 homes a year, you're going to have choices and you're going to have choices of areas. And a lot of people are looking at Eastport and surrounding Eastport. Is that where I should move to? I'm going to do that in the next video and I'm going to show people a little bit more of the entirety of the village. I get so, I know I fell into this case. Which village should I <laughs> live in? Oh my God. Do you know how many villages there are? I'm going to show it in the next video just to give you a handle at your choices. I know, gone on a little bit more on the next video, but thanks for watching. Hope you like this quick snapshot of where we're at. If you found any errors in my numbers like they did last year, let me know. I'll correct it up, put out another video and say, hey, I messed up. I don't think I did on this one. I think the numbers are okay. I think the economy's bad, but I think the village's numbers are not as bad as the economy. And I think it's still a desirable place. So I look forward to catching the villages. Stop me and say hi if you see me. Thanks for watching.